Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And is that CBD oil? Are they selling cannabis oil? Up there in that convenience store that Wendy Williams had occupied for just a short period of time. This is the Wendy Williams they have out there now. Not the glorified one that we are used to seeing. Okay, we're, you know, that's the Wendy Williams we're used to seeing. Uh, she's looking more radiant, full-faced, and you could catch her boob area. You know, the boobs were out and looking nice and stuff like that. When I can say in her heyday, okay, because that's not what Wendy Williams looks like now, okay, not that outgoing, shopping, habit wearing, gossip columnist, uh, wannabe. Well, I can't say she wanted to be because she was really top of her game, but I said, um, uh, entrepreneur, okay, she was out there doing the darn thing, wearing her booty shorts like it wasn't nobody's business, but she was a little bit more fuller. You know what I'm saying? Like that. You know, I don't know where she was at. She was at some concert. Maybe somebody can recognize what concert she was at. But yeah, she was doing her darn thing. She was showing her booty shorts. She was looking healthy. Or at least as healthy as she possibly could. Uh, other than what they were saying she was doing to herself. Uh, which was drinking too much. Drinking, drinking, drinking. Okay? But this is what the Wendy Williams we got, we're looking at now. Not healthy. Very thin. Not like that, Wendy, of course. What we have been used to seeing. And you see how the, uh, the boobs are sticking out there? And she's getting somebody told right there on top of her game right there. Okay? Yes, Wendy Williams. But lately, the one on the left has not been correlating with the one on the right. But we got something by or write up by uh, All About the T. Okay, staff writer. Wrote it up for us. And they titled it, Wendy Williams Spotted in Booty Shorts. By a liquor, look, 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 liquor, okay? And the cigarettes, the cigarettes, the liquor, the cigarettes, liquor, cigarettes, okay? She having a good old time all by her damn self. All right. We have Wendy Williams appeared confused and disheveled during an evening run for cigarettes and booze according to new photos obtained by the u.s sun okay now my thing is if you got people that got people that got people that can do trips to the convenience store to pick up some a a a a alcohol and that's uh might have been a cbd oil, okay trying to get the ooey up in there as well and something to uh I don't know, swash it down with. Maybe she got a little treats here and there with some chips to go along with an empty stomach trying to pour the booze all in. I don't know, not in this later article. I thought I'd just bring it out. Okay? But the images reveal a 58-year-old leaving her New York City apartment wearing a crop top and short shorts on Tuesday night. Wendy reportedly hopped into a cab around 8 p.m. after leaving her penthouse. The former daytime host visited a local smoke shop before heading to a liquor store where the driver reportedly picked up a bottle of Cattell One Vodka. Okay, she finna get smashed, smashed like nobody's business, okay? She had some issues on her mind and she had to have the cigarettes to puff her life away as well as the a a a a alcohol get her in the mood, okay? Now I'm like, Wendy, got people still? She got them. Where's Will Selby? Why he can't keep her stocked up? Why they constantly want to put this woman out for the public to review and to respond on? Okay? Like my nose ass. All right? I'm over here trying to break stories and stuff, bring it to my family, and weigh in with them on what the hell is going on with Wendy Williams. So I'll be the nose of person. I'll be the nose of person to go and bring y'all the phone back. Okay? Okay. A photographer asked Wendy when fans could expect to see her new show. I'm not the Wendy Williams show. 
anymore, she responded. Okay. Get nasty. Look like getting nasty out there with the public, Wendy. You know they got your back, girl. They got your back. But she's being nasty and short-tempered with them. The photographer had a brief conversation with the taxi driver after he drove Wendy back to her residence. The driver confirmed that she went upstairs carrying the vodka bottle. Wendy, you didn't pay that driver enough money, enough tip to keep his mouth closed. So he read you out, girl. He read you out to the streets. Anyway, Wendy pre previously claimed that she planned to launch a podcast after the cancellation of her popular talk show, The Wendy Williams Show. It remains unclear if she has taped any episodes uh, of her new venture. All right. No, because they got her running around here acting a fool. And that's supposed to be her soiree, her New York apartment. Don't it look fabulous? Yes, it do. All right. And it's mirrored with the Wendy trademark. As you can see, however she sees it. That's where it is, okay? But that's what we're seeing now. Maybe she's not seeing that person as she walk and carry on getting herself ready to come out to the public. I don't know, but I'm still asking the question. Where is her manager and why is he letting her come out looking like this, okay? Anyway, um, let me see. Earlier the same day, Wendy stepped out with her bodyguard and appeared unsteadily on her feet. The former TV queen was wearing a black styled women, a black slippers. Wait a minute, a black slip style dress topped with a short uh, shirt and sneakers. She clung to her bodyguard as she spoke to reporters. I'm going to core club, Wendy, Wendy said, wide open. This is a real ring, she said, flashing the sparkler. I wanted it so big that it looked fake. Oh my God, they're going to cut your hand off, Wendy. They're going to cut your hand off. You be in the wrong neighborhood at the wrong time, girl. They don't care who you are. All right. So put that ring back. Put that ring back. Okay? Early this month, fans expressed concern after a jarring video of the former chat show host went viral. The TikToker used D. Jinkies shared a 14-second video of the former daytime TV diva after hearing a brief exchange with her on the street. Wendy, who was being driven around the city at the time, showed off a flashy ring on her left hand in the footage. What you got to say for the camera, the fan asked, to which Wendy replied, Oh, he's out buying, getting stuff. I'm, I don't know, stuck waiting for him, I guess, to come back. The identity of Wendy's companion was not revealed, but the former talk show queen reported appeared clumsy with her words and wide open, uh, wide eyed during the short conversation. Okay. Fans offered messages of support for Wendy as the video circulated online. Poor Wendy, we miss you, We one wrote. I hope she can get better. Respect for putting the camera down when you felt what was up, another user told the person recording the footage. In February, the production company behind Wendy's chat show, Del Mar Mercury, announced that the program would end at the conclusion of season 13. Wendy lost her purple chair after being absent since the beginning of the season and multiple health issues she battled addiction graves disease and a rumored mental breakdown during her permanent hiatus okay well y'all that's all i got i ain't got no more because the pictures sh can tell a thousand words okay the pictures i've provided for you all can see the demise the decline of said person that we're talking about Y'all get down in those comments. Y'all let me know what y'all felt about this situation going on here. When they all look at a mess and shopping in a messy shop, store shop front. Okay? We ain't got no business being in no convenience store. That's too close for proximity with uh being less than six feet away from a person, you know. We still in this cold situation. Ain't that ain't nothing left with this uh situation we're running through, running in and out. Okay? But mm mm. This is a travesty. Travesty. I don't understand what's going on. Where's some people? We ain't got no people. We ain't got no people, y'all. Cause Wendy wouldn't have been shown out here looking like a mess, and then going to the convenience store to get some cigs and some alcohol when she could have ordered that shit up there. I don't know. Maybe she needed a break. Maybe she just needed to get out the uh, apartment. But again, where's some people? Where's Will Selby? 
he's the jeweler. And that seems like all the thing he know about is jewelry. Because he damn sure don't know about managing somebody and keeping the pap paparazzi out her ass. You see what I'm saying? But that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And I will see y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.